Right, we have climbed up quite a long way down from the stream now. It's the last hill, and we're nearly at the top. When we're at the top, there's a little wall. Oh, just sit there and have a piece of cake because we'll be going downhill all the way to Shipham. I've forgotten the time. I think it was three o'clock. I'll have to check again. I'll have to check again. There we go. Nearly out now. Yeah, the old Land Rover is still there. There it is. Bear Warren. We've been in and come out the other side. Yeah. Oh yeah. Row Barrel Warren. Of course I could go that way. I've been down that way before and ended up at uh, the pub. Um at Rowbarrow and then walked on. But I think I had to cross a field where there are possibly cows now so I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it now. <laughs> yeah, no. Or you could get back into the wood from the church. No, there's not enough time to worry about any of that. Yeah, from here you can just make out steep home. There, look, that's steep home. Of course, he had a programme on the other day about flat home. One man and, and his island. He was a new warden there. He did get volunteers going to help him as well. But it was quite good to see the island again, which I went out on 13, 8, 9, 10, 11 years ago, actually. 12 years ago, this September. No, gone. Yeah, I went out there on Flat Home, and then I went to Steep Home. I went to Flat Home on the Westwood Ho boat. It was a really good. And you can get apparently boats if you go to Cardiff. You can actually get a boat, not a rib boat. I won't go on a rib boat again. It damaged me. Did a lot of damage. I should have got done for it, to be quite honest. How he stopped like that suddenly. Yeah. No. That was bad. That was bad, that was. I should have done them for that. Damaged my bladder. Definitely damaged my bladder. I was all bruised. My doctor didn't nothing. He said, oh, you should have gone to the hospital. I was on an island. Yeah, no. That's, uh, that's what put me off going out there. If they still use the rib boats, I won't go on one. I would go on one if it was like I had to get on if I was overboard or something like that, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't go on one again. I didn't like the bloke that was driving it. He was too cowboyish. He's supposed to be a member of the lifeboat team. He should have got reported because it wasn't just me that I was having trouble. There's lots of people. But, you know, being good English girls and boys, we just didn't complain. I would have liked to have gone out there again with this sort of camera. 
because my camera's there and we're very, very, very basic. I hadn't even got a Sony or anything then. It was Vivitar and, you know, just that wasn't really, I didn't even have any, any Instamatics because they take pretty good pictures in Instamatics. So. All my pictures I did, when I used Instamatics up in Suffolk were good. When it started going downhill was when they bought me a Vivitar camera. So I could do vi uh, videos. And they're alright, but they're just not quality-wise, really. So, so, you know, I feel sorry for people watching them. So, I mean, sometimes I've been able to go back to a place and do it with a better camera. Which, is, which helps. I mean, it was great being you know, able to go back and video Borough Green and Dullingham. You know, that was really good when I did Borough Green, St Augustine's Church. Some of those videos are really good. I've got them on my tree. Don't know how long they'll stay with YouTube. YouTube could pack up. I don't know what would happen to all our videos. If that happened, I don't know. Hello, little plant. Anyway, we've left um, the area of Outstanding Beauty and Robert Warren, which we only briefly passed through. And uh, we're now making our way slowly down to Shippham, the village. And then we'll go through a field where possible cows are in. And then we'll just follow a route and um, end up on a busy A38. For about 10 minutes we'll have to walk on the path with some, all sorts of vehicles hurtling by. Then we turn off and we'll be back on peace again, walking down to the village of Winscombe to get the bus. But there's no hourly bus. For example, the next bus is going to be in about three quarters of an hour and I won't be back to get it. And the next bus after that is two hour wait. They don't put one on at five or anything. I can't believe they don't have a five o'clock bus. And when the new timetable comes in, the last bus you'll have to wait to up past six and it'd be like night time in the winter. Stupid that they have such a big gap. No, I don't like that service at all. It makes me very anxious. Um, like I said, I really want to start exploring Congressry Wood. <laughs> Just to, so I don't have to come out on the... Uh, obviously, I'm going to come out to Row Barrow for some wandering. And I'll try out the new bus. Which is going to be called the 125. It won't be going around all that housing estate anymore. That's one good thing. And uh, it'll be going back into Lockin Village, which is a good thing, because I can get to part of my walks that I do, which I normally get off at Hutton and do, I can get off at Lockin and do. So, and there's possibly other walks I don't know about from Lockin. So this is just me reflecting as I go along a lovely English country lane with its high hedges and overlapping trees. I mean, there is another walk I normally do where I go down the West Mendip Way, but I can't because I will not go into that field of cows. I took a risk a couple of years back walking through them and wish I hadn't. And it's quite a bumpy road going back down that way. So I'm just taking this other route. I was going to try out the new route from um, Sanford across country. But I thought I'd leave that again now for now. Those are all things I can do when I'm doing smaller walks. But you see, if I do smaller walks, I will have to make sure I'm back. You know get that bus, that four o'clock bus or four past three bus, whatever it is. It doesn't give you a lot of time. If the bus is later coming out, which is 10 o'clock leaving Western, it's going to be 10 o'clock. Yeah, you know, that means you're, it's going on for 11. It really doesn't give you much time. 
not unless you get on the very early bus which at the moment you only got to pay two quid to get on but after October they'll be back to normal prices now I wouldn't have wanted any more time today this is sufficient I thought I would do but I don't now last time I came here I looked over I had a look around the church I'm not doing that today I think I'm going to be back with loads of time to spare. So that normally always happens with me. I put a spare on because I don't want to miss the bus. It's funny how there's a two hour break. You know, I just can't get over how it, why there's such a bloody gap. I don't know why they can't put hourly buses on. It's a pain in the ass to be honest. But if it's all we got, we just have to adapt all the time. It's stressful. That's what I'm saying, it's stressful. It dominates walks. I'm always talking about buses. Now in the past, I was always talking about cows. My little pink cottage. Hmm. Not got a name, is it? I don't think so. Oh. Oh yeah. I can't pronounce that word. It's the name of this road. Lipiata. Lipiata. That's a weird name, isn't it? French. Probably got some meaning why they called it that and why this is called Lipiat Road or Lane. I'll be turning off in a minute, everyone. Turn off now.